You'll capture the entire interaction between the police officer and the suspect. Uh, we also have video of the suspect burglarizing cars, breaking into cars uh, here from this uh, folks here, from, from, from the apartment building, or you know, condos. How long does the security guard have this position? I do not know that. Will the officer write a body camera as well? The, this officer did not have a body camera, but uh, the in-car camera captures the entire scene. Again, our in-car, our, our body camera program, body-worn cameras should be here, hopefully uh, sometime this summer. Well, we, we thanks to the leadership of the city manager and mayor and council that funded it, we'll be able to provide the first about 500 uh, cameras this summer will be deployed to our officers. But again, this incident was captured uh, very clearly by the in-car camera. Anything else? And the officer was on duty, actively patrolling. The time. Yes, the officer was. The officer was just clearing another call. Had just cleared another call down the street when he came down here, made the left turn, and saw the security guard. Uh, gather, uh, chasing the suspect. Uh, the, I've heard uh, some uh, some chatted, uh, upset um, uh, some reports that the media has stated that our officer is having lunch with his girlfriend. I'm not sure where that came from, but that is not accurate. Our officer was alone in his police car and was on regular patrol when he witnessed the chase. The suspect uh, shot and killed. Is he a repeat? Say again. Is, he a, is the suspect too? We have no idea who the suspect is. We have not been able to identify him. Uh, and again, once we identify him, we will be more than happy to release that information, as well as the officer's information. Our plan will be to release the officer's information tomorrow. If we identify the deceased suspect, we will release it, but I can't guarantee you that because we don't know we'll be able to identify him by tomorrow. As soon as we identify him, we'll release it, but we will release the officer's name tomorrow. Chief, for what you all do, what is today's incident go to about how quickly things can escalate for the men and women of your department and their jobs every day? You know, it's, uh, this scene brings me back to Jaime Padron, where we all know that Jaime took a suspect to the ground that was running, that ran past him, and by the time that suspect got to the ground, he took a gun out and shot Jaime and, 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 uh, and, and killed him. Again, it's important, it's really easy for us to jump to conclusions and demonize officers when they're trying to gain control of a resisting suspect that is not showing their hands. This case, uh, as a couple of other, another one that I have in mind that we, we won't talk about today, illustrates why officers so aggressively take physical action to try to get hands where they can see them. You know, empty hands means that the officer knows that they're reasonably safe. Hands that are not uh, very re uh, readily uh, visible means that the officer has no idea what's in reach of those hands. In this case, we'll clearly illustrate that and it'll be very demonstrative of why officers, when people are not are resisting and are not wanting to show their hands, are so aggressively trying to get those hands where they can see them and more importantly, control them. Anything else? Did the suspect have any other weapons on him? Or you know, I don't know. They haven't. I don't have that information yet. Chief, this means that if a wealthy person, a uh, wealthy person in the West End here had done the same thing, would he also be or she also be I, I, You know what, I think that's a ridiculous question that I'm not going to, uh, is it, is it worthy of a response? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.